Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up at 267. We'll get the Nasdaq down 210. S&Ps are up too. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. Go right into featured content. You'll see it right on the front page. You just hit the opening call. You hit subscribe. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you can get it for one year for $1195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. <clears throat> now, they all come, folks, with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So check it out. If you enjoy it, no problem. You're going to con continue to be in charge. If for some reason it doesn't work for you, you're going to get your money back. As you get over to Basil's page, you're going to see that Basil has a tremendous amount of archived workshops that he's done. I, I think approximately we have 12 of them over there. It's a great service, great education. Basil Chapman, Happy New Year. And a Happy New Year to you. You'll have to just forgive uh, the shades. I'm just covering up an eye that got a little damage, but otherwise I'm fine. That's good. Here just we are. protect that eye. That's right. Yeah. We're starting the new year with an all-time high in the Dow. And that's I know. Exciting. We got some divergence, huh? Holy well, then, cow. You know, that's what we've been talking about for some time now. And one of the things that I, I think is really important for investors and, uh, you know, just the general listeners of, of uh, TFNN, who uh, I think a lot of people kind of have money that they put into the market and they're really not too sure about what's happening. But I think what we've been discussing for some time is the selectivity is something you've got to be aware of. And one of the aspects that I've been talking about is that those fantastic NASDAQ 100 stocks that were just unbelievable going into the, towards the end of last year. Uh, well, wait a minute, this is now 2022. To the end of 2021, yeah. Um, went all the way into September highs, etc. They're having very strong pullbacks. Uh, some of them, you know, 20, 30, 40% de declines. So what's really important, and I think I've done this for subscribers, is I've tried to focus on what has worked, what in this whole rotation of sector uh, diversification, wh what is happening here? And I think I've, I've really loved the Dow for a long time. I call it the Dow 30. It has nothing to do with the Dow industrials going back to the uh, 1800s. This is just this is this is now the Dow 30. And I love the mix. It's got a perfect mix for this general market. And you can see that today. Here it is at an all time high, 36,856. I, I'm not sure how it's going to if it's going to break 37,000 right now, uh, but it's just going to you know an eye blink away. It went to 36,934 this morning. Most importantly, I love to draw trend lines. I like to draw this V-shaped pattern. I like to draw uh, what I call inside track repellent line. There's, there was one here on the Dow. You can see in the daily chart this green and red line and how it broke out above it and went more than one to one to the upside. And then I thought just before we came on, I said, you know what, I'm gonna draw this trend line right here from the gap, there's the gap down in November to all the highs that were made. And you can see this, this trend line touched one, two, three, four, then it didn't touch five, six, seven, eight. So for four bars, it didn't then nine, and then a huge V-shaped pattern. Then all of a sudden, the card came back to importance right in fact just for for the show i'll make this thickest that we're really looking at the, yeah you know yeah. And, and after the run that um you know the nasdaq have i could see large money managers uh, at the beginning of the year saying hey you know what i'm going to take some bread off of here i'm putting some in the dow i mean it's just when you're we're in the probability business folks and you know i i could see that because the dow <laughs> not that it's been lagging but you know what i'm saying it's, it's just it hasn't been the nasdaq or the ndx 100 that's correct sure, so you know? so as the rotation goes they're trying to find money on what they think is still strong but one of the maybe lagging index indexes and, and to a certain extent that's what we're looking at here but look there are all these resistance lines in the weekly. He has the Shaven Wave inside track repellent zone, just like the line I showed you over here, which we snuck above and pulled back. And here we got in the monthly chart. Look at this massive move to the, to the upside, and it keeps getting repelled by this trend line. So it makes it real simple. 
if the Dow at any point happens to get into the 37,400, 500 area in January, that is really strong action. And one of the things I did uh, for subscribers, we've been long since March of last year at the low via options. And then a week later, we got into the diamonds, which we still have. But we've been trading short and long, short and long over the period of the year. And now what I've done is for the past, uh, ever since, uh, let me just see the exact date, that was on the... Uh, on the 21st of December, right here, we went long again, the Dow, the Diamonds, and we say, what was the objective? In the Chapman Wave, we're always looking for four higher peaks at least. And here we are. Today, we got that fourth highest peak. I haven't done anything yet, but isn't this exciting? Here we are on leg D, bumping up against the trend line, which makes it very simple because if you go, the higher you go away from a trend line, the more the less important it becomes as a magnet so that's important to me and i just you know we're talking about these trend lines look at this uh, in the QQQ, it's the same technique. Yes, this is what I call the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. What did the Q, the NDX 100, the Qs do? 408.71 was the all-time high on the 22nd of November. Drops down to 378.90, makes a big U-shaped pan or an arch formation, takes out the left side low, and then has a really good rally. This rally technically should have been right at the 4, 411, 412 all-time high level, and it stalled where? Right. It's amazing how this works. Right at that repellent zone. So it got it got it declining today. So what I've done for subscribers to my opening call, we've had some stocks that were making all-time highs a, a couple of days ago. I said, let's be real careful now. We're raising some cash, and today we actually started a long position in one of the indexes. Not the actual index itself that is normally looked at, but in the value index, the same thing, but the value. And this particular index today um, is up uh, almost 1%, and its colleague, the, the regular one, is not acting as well at all. So I think what we're looking at here is that fund managers are starting to look at value. Probably they're going to be looking more at uh, dividend stocks. So I think we've got a rotation for 2020 that came out. It didn't happen by accident. It happened over a period of, I'd say, two months it's been happening. And I think we started to see it now that there's a chance that there's a lot more selectivity. And I, you know, I don't see a major sell-off right here because of this rotation. And one of the, one of the things that kept me uh, on the long side is that the IAI, the iShares Broker Dealer Index, was holding very nicely, and it too had a resistance, and today it's having a very strong move. And I thought, well, uh, one of the stocks that we had just briefly, unfortunately, we just got stopped out of it, and now it's doing exactly what we wanted, was Charles Schwab. Look at this move, up 4.76, up almost 5.5% today at 90.52. And, and I've got it as a leg F, but somehow or other, the way it's breaking out, I had to be impressed with the way these stocks have been acting to say public is in the market. And this, for me, represents very much the public participation. So if you can look at the IAI, this is a good sign. It's at 114, this uh, broker-dealer index. If it can get towards the 116 level, the all-time high, that'll be amazing action. I so we're it. being very selective, yeah. And listen, folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right in the featured content, right in the front page. Just hit that button for opening call. Basil, have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you. you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.